For months, L.A. County Public Health has been warning a new drug could turn up on the streets, making the opioid crisis even more deadly. Yeah, it's called Trank, a powerful mixture of horse tranquilizer and fentanyl. Mm -hmm. And tonight, there are fears that it may have killed three people in downtown L.A. KCAL's Lori Perez is live at LAPD headquarters with details. And Lori, what a tragic way to have this drug possibly explode onto the scene right now. Well, Lon and Susie, that's absolutely right. The head of the Union Rescue Mission told me tonight he is very worried about Trank and he's very worried about the building where those three bodies were found. SkyCal was overhead and LAPD was on the scene in force Wednesday afternoon after police say three bodies were found inside a building on Skid Row. One person in their 50s, two others in their 30s, all suspected overdoses. It happened around the corner from the Union Rescue Mission, a shelter and recovery center run by Reverend Andy Bales, who says LA County loses five people a day to complications of homelessness. But by far, those are Mostly overdose deaths, they're surrounded by every drug uh, known to man available on Skid Row. Including, he's heard, a new one. Zalazine, or Trank as it's called, is horse tranquilizer. And when mixed with opioids, it's having gruesome and often deadly consequences. Philadelphia is ground zero for Trank use. It's rampant and brutal. Healthcare workers there are treating users who discover their skin starting to decompose. In some cases, it leads to amputation. Bales says he has two men tonight at Union Rescue Mission recovering from Trank use. I heard the other day that Trank is being mixed with fentanyl on Skid Row, and I even tracked down uh, the tent, maybe a block from this location where the overdose deaths happened that's mixing Trank with meth to make the hit the high longer and stronger. Late tonight, the LA Times reported the building where the three died is owned by the Skid Row Housing Trust, one of the largest providers of housing for at-risk people in downtown LA. The trust is facing financial collapse. Residents complain many buildings are decrepit. But Bale says he told the mayor yesterday it's more than that, keeping 50% of housing on Skid Row empty. It is gangs ruling those vacant uh, apartments and displacing people and intimidating residents to the point that hardly anybody wants to go live on Skid Row. That's the danger level it's reached and it's uh, violent gangs backed by cartels uh, doing drug trade, that, which is not a peaceful process. And the city is taking steps to strip the trust of controlling all 29 of its buildings. In downtown Los Angeles, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL News, back to you. All right.